Hello, this is Mark Bergman, and on the eve of kindergarten and elementary school registration week at the EMSB, January 31st to February 4th, the English Montreal School Board is celebrating diversity and inclusivity. This six-day special event continues today with Pierre de Coubertin Elementary School in St. Leonard. Can't wait to talk to a ton of students uh, and a teacher as well about the Hispanic Heritage Project, which is being showcased at Pierre de Coubertin Elementary guided by teacher Mariana Castro-Lopez, who we'll talk to in a couple of seconds. Grade six students have been engaging their younger schoolmates in kindergarten in a storytelling and animation activity, allowing them the opportunity to pass on the wealth of knowledge they acquired from the Hispanic Heritage Projects. Students will also get a chance to interview the Consuls General of Honduras and Guatemala here in Montreal in order to learn about the role they play for their countries abroad. So let's chat now to, uh, with uh, Mariano Castro-Lopez. Uh, also joining us will be students uh, Adamo Camito, Shayla Williams will join us soon, Linda Petrecchia, and Michael Romano. And we'll bring in uh, Mariana right now. Hi, Mariana. Hi, how are you? Great. So Pierre de Coubertin is located in the predominantly Italian neighborhood, correct? That's right. How did you go about introducing a Hispanic uh, Heritage Project to the kids? Well, I have been teaching the East End of Montreal for over 20 years and have seen the neighborhood becoming more diverse. So I've always believed that our classrooms are a home away from home and establishing relationships with the students from day one, it's imperative to build a better classroom community. So I get to know my students really well. They get to know me very well as, as, as well. And once I shared with them that I had spent a big part of my childhood in El Salvador, they wanted to know much more about it. So we basically, they ask questions and I said, you know what, why not take the time to teach them about this Hispanic community in general? So they are aware of all of the tra traditions and all of the languages and all the beautiful things that, you know, Hispanic, uh, the Hispanic heritage has to offer. And at Pierre de Coubertin, uh, just like any other EMSB school, students are given the opportunity to learn a heritage language through the Pelo program. And the languages thoughts are based on the large cultural groups attending a specific school. And at Pierre de Coubertin, they start learning Italian from kindergarten. I have learned so much myself about the Italian culture, so I wanted to share my own culture with the students as well. That's incredible. So let's talk to some of those students right now. We are going to speak to Adamo. Hi, Adamo. Uh, let me talk to you a little bit about the program. And have you discovered some things about Hispanic heritage that you enjoy sharing with us and with others? Uh, well, yes. So one day, uh, my teacher, you know, she uh, used a Latin song from uh, Gloria Stefan and in her, one of her English lessons. And it was really good. I was surprised for how good it was. And, you know, I'm a guitar player and uh, I'm actually learning a song by uh, Carlos Santana. And, you know, he's one of the greats. Next up, we are going to talk to Shayla. And Shayla, I know that your peers are teaching um, Hispanic culture and heritage to some of the kindergarten students. Can you tell me about some of the activities uh, that some of the younger students enjoy learning? Uh, I think they will enjoy the food taste testing activity the most. Uh, they will be introduced to something that they are not familiar with. Lots of children um, are picky eaters, but teaching them to like something from an early age is important for them uh, to be open-minded when it comes to different things. Have you tasted any Hispanic foods uh, in, in the last year? Uh, yes. Yeah. Do you have a favorite you want to share with us, maybe? Uh, plantain chips. What about it do you like? Um, they're very crunchy. They're crunchy. <laughs> so next up, we'll talk to Linda. And Linda, we all want to speak about the book, Just Ask, Be Different, Be Brave, Be You. Okay, this is the book uh, that was chosen to be read to some of the kindergarten students. Can you tell us why this particular book? We are not all the same. Uh, we are all different and we should embrace that. We are all unique and bring something amazing to the world. How boring would it be if we would all be the same? Someone very wise once told us, be a Fruit Loop in a world of cheers. Being unique, being yourself is okay. We need to create a world where we all accept just the way we are. Ms. Michael, have you discovered something in your own heritage that you enjoy sharing with others? Uh, well, yeah, first of all, I'm a half Italian and half Filipino, so I have like two kinds of heritages. 
Wow. So, well, the thing I enjoy most about being Italian is like the delicious homemade food that my uh, nana and Zio make for me every day. I like spending time with my nana on my days off to hear all her amazing stories about when she was growing up. From those stories, I learned that uh, my great grandfather was a veteran in uh, World War II. And uh, on my Filipino side, I love uh, when my mom makes uh, rice, uh, pancit, and chicken curry. Those three are uh, food like that are Filipino. Uh, my life, my life is very different from my family in the Philippines. Whenever we have something we don't like or we don't need anymore, my mom sends it to the Philippines uh, to my family so there they can use it. Since my family lives far away, we FaceTime whenever we can. And talk about Hispanic Heritage Month, my great, great, great grandparents on my Filipino mom's side were actually uh, Hispanic. That's amazing. And once we're talking food here, I see food is food is a common thing. Food brings cultures together for sure. You talked about uh, one side, but how about uh, what's your favorite uh, food that your that your nona makes for you on the Italian side? Oh well, there's a long list, <laughs> really long one. Obviously, you have to pick one, right? Yeah. Well, there's uh, her homemade lasagna, uh, pizza, all of her pastas, her cookies, and like everything she makes, I love. So there's not really amazing. Food. Michael, thanks so much for chatting with us. Mariano, so tell me how the project has been going this year, um, overall, especially in terms of, of, of student reaction. How are they taking to it? They are loving it. Um, throughout the year, I always plan activities that revolve around the students and around the world. And this year, I decided to use the month of October to really commemorate the Hispanic heritage. And the Parliament of Canada recognizes that members of the Latin American community in Canada have made a significant uh, contribution to the social, economic, and political fabric of the nation. So there is an app now that states that throughout Canada, in each and every year, the month of October is to be known as Latin American Heritage Month. And when I brought it up to my students, they really, really loved the idea, and they wanted to know about a lot more about my culture. It created a great deal of conversation, not just between the students in the classroom, but the families as well. As you know, Michael just found out that you know he has a Latin uh, a background as well. And uh, we learn about so many different things. We learn about the uh, Incas, the Aztecs, and the Mayan civilization. And did you know that that's where the chocolate originated? I'm learning something too. Yeah. So even uh, we just found out also that Mike Pacioretty is of uh, Latin American descent. So, and I know that Michael and I, a, lot of, a lot of other students love everything about the half. So it's a nice little tidbit of information <clears throat> that we really enjoy learning. That's very, very cool. Well, I want to find out from the other students before we go. Maybe we can do this. I know everybody's crowded around. So just maybe come up one by one. You've been learning, of course, about Hispanic heritage. But I want to find out what other cultures uh, they'd be interested right. in, in, in learning. Uh, well, I'd like to learn about, uh, you know, uh, Italian heritage. Not only because I'm Italian, because I'd like to learn, like, about the Romans and what happened all the way back in history. Yeah, okay, so a well, new heritage that I, like, want to learn more about is, like, like my uh, culture, like, my heritage on my mom's side, which is Filipino. I want to learn more about it because, like, first of all, I'm half Filipino. So, like, if I learn more about it, it's, like, my own culture. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, it's my culture, but I don't really do anything about it because, like, I live with my grandmother and my family is in the Philippines, so I can't really do stuff like they do. So, like, I want to learn more about it so maybe I could start to do stuff like they do there. Uh, mine is like Adamo. Uh, I would like to learn more about the Italians and like more about the food and the ancient civilization. Yeah, I just really want exactly like Adamo, more about like the Romans and what happened in the older days. Love how curious and, and how much you guys want to learn. That's amazing. Thank you so much. And last but not least, I see her back there. Is Shayla somewhere? There she is. Uh, I would probably be interested in uh, learning more of my dad's background, which is uh, Trinidad. Okay. And uh, yeah, I would like to learn like the foods and stuff. Amazing. Well, Shayla, thank you so much. And hopefully you guys will learn about all those cultures that you're curious about. I want to thank everybody there. Big waves in the back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Thank you so much. And of course, a reminder again that the kindergarten and elementary school registration for the 2023 season at the EMSB is January 30th to February 4th. 
For more information, call 514-483-7200 or log on to emsb.qc.ca. Thanks so much for joining us.